Minnesota's colossal budget surplus is staying the course. It is now projected to be $17.5 billion, which is largely unchanged from the November economic forecast from state officials. Caroline Cummings explains what that means for you and the state economy. You'll hear the word unprecedented and unexpected a lot less today than you have in previous briefings. Seasons changed, but the surplus largely the same, now projected to be $17.5 billion. The economy is stable and the budget outlook is very good. Minnesota Management and Budget Commissioner Jim Showalter ran through the latest forecast projections on Monday. It's a tally of how much the state's bringing in versus how much it's spending. That surplus, though, doesn't tell the full story. State revenues actually did grow over the last couple of months, but a new law the legislature passed requires inflation be baked into the spending projection, which means a $1.4 billion bite out of that number. This is good news for Minnesotans. The numbers will shape conversations at the Capitol about where the state should spend those tax dollars over the next two years. Ongoing revenues plus one-time surplus money means $72 billion are at play. This year we have an opportunity to address two decades of underfunding in people and communities and most particularly in education. DFLers in the majority praise what the forecast means for their priorities but vow responsible budgeting. Meanwhile, Republicans say the surplus is a sign that Minnesota is overtaxing its residents. They're rolling out a tax relief plan Tuesday, though passing it will face hurdles with Democrats in control. If we can give money back to Minnesotans in ways that really improve and affect their lives, that's what Republicans are after. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Lawmakers have to pass a budget before the session ends. Governor Tim Walz and now some Republicans are pushing for giving some of that surplus back in rebate checks. 